the American people cannot afford four more minutes of Donald J. Trump and his administration. We need to impeach and evict Donald Trump. But ultimately, the impeachment process is bigger than him. It's about him, but it's bigger than him. It's about the office of the presidency. This is about precedent and whether or not we are going to give anyone carte blanche to operate with lawlessness and to be intentional in inflicting hurt. If this GOP-led Senate moves for acquittal or dismissal, all it is is consistent with what this administration has done from day one, and that is a cover-up. You know, I mean, if you're innocent, you present an alibi. You don't move for dismissal. I've been supportive of an impeachment inquiry since April, and that is because of the hurt and the fear and the fragility that people were experiencing in real time every day. With this administration, it is like we are drinking from a fire hose of insult and assault. With this administration, it seems by the hour they roll out policies, each more racist, xenophobic, draconian, oppressive, life-threatening, family-separating than the next. And as tired as people are, are of hearing us talk about injustice, we should be even more tired of experiencing it, of living it. And so that means that even when we're weary, even when we are tempted to be complacent, to grow cynical, that we cannot allow either of those feelings to have a home in our heart because quite literally, lives are in jeopardy. And here's the other thing, they are counting on us giving up. And that's been true for every major social movement that was about ushering in a paradigm shift, that was about the preservation of democracy, that was about um, legislative change, is that they were counting on people, growing so wearied with blistered feet and broken hearts, right? And weary spirits, that they would just take their ball and go home. So we can't give them the satisfaction. And my heart breaks that we have to continue to march to protest. But my mother, you know, may she rest in power, made sure I knew early on that the pursuit and the work of justice is a cradle to grave struggle. But here is something to stand on. Whatever happens next, he's been impeached. And he's impeached forever. Whatever happens next, this Congress, thanks to activists like Move On, we did our job. So I sleep well at night.